Hey, this is AJ Johnson of Topeka, Kansas. Uh, listen to you on Bot Radio. Uh, I have a question. Uh, we know that God don't hold the sins of the Father against the Son, nor the Son to the, nor the sins of the Son against the Father. And that being true, why is it that we accepted the fact that uh, God would answer Noah's pre- uh, curse on Canaan? who didn't do anything based on what his father did. I think that it's not a curse. I think that it, Noah either announced judgment or he just prophesied, but we have accepted the fact that it's a curse. Now, uh, we do know that uh, most of the uh, Hamanite descendants from the Egyptians, Libyans, let's go on, uh, was a prosperous nation. And the Ethiopians numbered millions of men one time just in a battle. And I think that's 2 Corinthians uh, 7 14. No, not 7 14, but I think it's 2 second, second Corinthians chapter 7, where they was a million Ethiopians. But anyway, I'm trying to. Anyway, I just want to know that answer. Hopefully, catch you soon. Uh, I don't think that's a curse. I think that was a judge. Uh, he pronounced judgment or he prophesied. Get back with me. Peace out. Hey, AJ, thank you for your question. Glad you're listening to us on the Bot Radio Network. Let's go straight to the text you're referring to and try to address what I believe is a really important issue, brother. In Genesis 9, Noah gets drunk and his son, Ham, sees his nakedness, we're told. So there's some shame involved here. And when Noah wakes up, he says in 925, Cursed be Canaan, a servant of servants shall he be to his brothers. So basically, Ham's descendants would be cursed. Now, the Hebrew word there, arar, means to curse. So that's why we refer to it as a curse. It doesn't mean that this passage has been rightly applied today, though. Now, here's what I think you're getting at, AJ. Some people have used this text as a justification for things like slavery. The thinking was, as you say, Canaan's descendants were black and they were cursed to servitude. Uh, the, the reality is, the thing is, that interpretation is more of an imposition on the biblical text made to justify the sinful behavior of people who wanted to enslave others than it is faithful to the scriptures. Noah's curse or prophecy or whatever you want to call it had nothing to do with Ham's skin color but with Ham's sin. Mm. Now, in mm. terms of the present-day descendants, it's actually kind of interesting. National Geographic had an interesting article back in 2017 where they reported on a DNA test that was done on some ancient Canaanite bones. The test revealed, quote, Canaanite ancestry is a mix of indigenous populations who settled the Levant, the Levant, 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 the Levant, the region encompassing much of modern Syria, Lebanon, Jordan, Israel, and the Palestinian territories around 10,000 years ago, and migrants who arrived from the east between 6,600 years ago and 3,500 years ago. So to say that the, the curse of Canaan is a curse on black people to servitude is just a misuse of scripture. And you know what it exposes, AJ? Our own sinfulness. The fact that we will use God's word to break God's law. God's law says to love our neighbor as ourselves. Racism breaks the second greatest commandment, according to Jesus. And so, AJ, I think you're right about the fact that some interpreters have misused this text and applied it in a way that it isn't meant to be applied Mm -hmm. as, as a curse on Ethiopian nations or black African nations, that kind of a thing. That's just nowhere in the text. Now, with regard to why Canaan gets cursed for Ham's sin, well, listen to what Exodus 34, 7 says. God said, keeping steadfast love for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin, who will by no means clear the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children and the children's children to the third and fourth generation. Now, this was a part of the time of the Old Covenant, and I think it's significant, AJ, that one of the promises of the New Covenant is that God is no longer going to act in this or do this. Jeremiah 31, 29 and following, if you want to check it out. So whatever the curse of Canaan was, guess what? In Jesus, it's gone. It's been taken away. Christ has borne our curse and given us his righteousness. That's the curse that we all need to worry about. Exactly. The curse (laughs) of everlasting death that has been lifted, as you say, for all who trust in Jesus. Amen. Whatever race. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, uh, AJ, for for your question. Keep listening and keep giving us uh, calls with your questions. God bless you, brother.